What is good? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the video. If you're watching on YouTube or Twitch, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll say it again. I hope you're having another great day. Uh, today we're playing Until Dawn. I am excited for this game because I love, I love, like, uh, butterfly effect games. And I heard this was a really good game. So I'm excited to play this. I hope you guys are ready to watch. So here we go. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let's go ahead and pull my thing. Bang. Let's get it. Never let me go. Yo, I'm hyped up right now. I'm hyped. I hope you guys are hyped up. And you see, you guys see the new chair. The new chair. What? All right. All right. Make sure the mic's on. All right. But the new chair, you know, gaming chair, you know, we all, we we out here now. Uh, traditional controls or motion controls. Does it? Let's go motion controls, because I want to see what that's like. Oh, gosh. Turn this up. Turn this up. Turn it up. That didn't really scare me, but... I don't know. It was just like, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get it, y'all ready? What game company made this? I thought Red Barrels made this. Who made? No, Red Barrels made Outlast, right? I think I, I think I put the wrong thing in my tweet. My bad. My bad. Who made Until Dawn? It's Sony Interactive, right? Now. Who made Until Dawn? Supermassive. Okay, well, I didn't give them their credit. Credit to Supermassive. Let's get it. All right, status and collectibles. We have none. Twins, blah, 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 nothing. Cool. Cool to know. Bonus content. We have nothing. Cool. Settings. Subtitles on. And let's just go ahead and get started. Look who it is. What the heck? So, you saw I shut you open your mouth. Was that me? Look how unimpressed she is. She's like, just start the game. All right, let's just start. Sorry, I'm geeking out. Let's just say. Okay. Tiny butterfly just devastating for me. That's all I got. Smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Oh gosh. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. I see, you see, you see how it's like it's two pa two decisions. Wherever decision you go is how the story's gonna end. That's how it's one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Woo! Ah! All right. Sorry. Sorry. This is an old game too, but it's still. It, I mean, it looks pretty good. Ooh, it looks great actually. Wow. Snow could use work, but I mean, for an old game, like. It's moving like a PS5 game, you know? God, it looks good. Great. Look at oh, the dust. God, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. 
Hannah's making moves Just on Mike. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, Ooh, darling. Why, whoa. Why is she so worried? Why don't you look like that? So cliche, you know. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Wait, what happened? Josh. Okay. I hope that didn't affect my stream. Oh, we're playing! I didn't know we were playing. What the heck? Oh, this looks good. We can literally choose how she looks around. That is insane! Look at that! Like, like she moves her head according to the controller. Okay, sorry. Nerding out a little bit. Press R2, oh, press and hold R2 to pick up, no, okay. Oh, okay. You look so, you look so hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room, I'm guessing, at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, this is to Hannah. Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Our naive sister? Intervention time. I can't even see. Whatever. So weird. Something weird. Locked. Okay. Oh, let's go over here. Hopefully. Character info. Okay. So you get traits in this game. What? Oh, this is a little bit deeper, right? Look at me. What's up? <laughs> she looked away. Anyways, so you have an honesty trait, a, chari a charitable trait, a funny, brave, romantic, curious, and you have trait uh, relationship statuses with other people. So Hannah is my sister. Obviously, she is my uh, the person I'm closest to. So we have a great relationship. So does that is that Josh on the table? Because she said our naive sister. So Josh is on the table, right? Maybe I don't know investigation mode so she doesn't really like much like Ashley or Emily I don't know who those people are but she's cool with Sam okay whatever oh wait let's look at something else. twins nothing 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 what are this stuff totems don't open it's cool Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just exploring, you know? Just chilling. Move controller to look around objects. That's weird. 
weird. So if you look away from something, but say if you look at it, it'll glint. That's weird. That's cool, but weird. Right? Oh, this is weird. I like it though. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. Oh, so that's Josh. And brother. Got your note. Glad you can make it. Got it. I'm trying to learn characters. Because I don't learn characters well. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. So they're trying to prank. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I think they're pranking her, though. Is oh, there a. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Wait, but I'm confused. Cause if she if she knew Okay. I feel comfortable waking Josh up. Josh! Josh! I'm confused because didn't Guys, uh, there's whatever someone her name outside. was, like the one in the red, didn't she just let it happen? Her, she let it happen. Anna? So isn't she just as much as a jerk? What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks, Hannah. Hannah. So after her you know I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now Mike oh shit go square uh go fast we gotta find Anna oh that didn't hurt Incorporating everything in the controller, I like it. Hannah! Yeah. So I, oh, I use the, the controller to point. Oh, that's awesome. It's like... Now I got to use the right stick too. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, god dang it! <laughs> oh god. Alright, hold on one to walk faster. Yeah, let's walk a little faster. I didn't like that. I know it's smiling, but I smile at everything. Doesn't mean I'm less scared. So, oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm collecting all these totems. So every totem we get... Oh, I don't get it. Okay. Um, yeah, we 
good to get all these tokens. In. I want all of them. All right, we're just gonna look over around. Oh. Huh? What is that? Let's not walk as fast. What is yo? No. What the hell was that? I agree. Move. Hannah. What was that? Oh, that was Hannah. Hannah. Hello. Hannah. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, oh take my coat. God, I don't I'm such an idiot. Oh, dumb. Anna, is that a <gasps> Anna! <laughs> really? Hannah. Yeah. I dropped my phone, that was my phone. Okay. No. No. Shit. Get out. Okay, don't. The ledge, though. No. Oh, Hold on. What is that? Hold on. Dropping hand. Let go. Oh, this is the. It's the dead turtle. Great, I already killed two people. Huh. The analysis. What the heck happened? It happened all too way too fast. Way too fast. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Oh, understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Right. Back up. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. I'm and I want to help you see it through. I'm just trying to save them. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but you think? I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? I guess. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. I'm supposed to tell you how I feel about it? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. No. <laughs> I definitely feel uneasy about it. I don't... I mean, I watch too many horror movies to see a silo just in the middle of nowhere with in, in, like, or in the middle of a cornfield, so I feel uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Honestly, you maybe a little bit. <laughs> 
It's not the Scarecrow. No, because I wouldn't be scared of the Scarecrow if the Scarecrow was alone. Because if the Scarecrow weren't there, I'd definitely, like, I mean, I would be, like, it'd be, I'd feel the same, so I'm not sure. If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? Because a feeling, you can't see feelings. I mean, is there something in the house? What? I don't know if there's something in there, but, like, no, I guess. Huh. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? It's in my head. Can it be in the field? It could be. It could be in the field, but it's in my head, more like. Like, because obviously... Sorry, I'm going to pause because I don't know if it's timed. But honestly, like, I know there's nothing out there. If I walk out there, I'm going to be perfectly fine. No one's going to come and kill me, you know? It's not, a, it's not a horror movie. It's not... I mean, there are psychopaths in the world, but it, it's it's not a horror movie, you know? I wouldn't be scared... Or I'd be scared, but, I, like, it'd be all in my head. Is this threat real, or is it something... Uh, it's in my imagination. ...in your imagination? It's in my imagination. It's in my head. Oh, you seem to possess a very active imagination. Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. So I looked at his clock after he said, uh, after he said, oh, in our next session, we've run out of time. Just taking my money, that's all you're doing. Notice how I already knew what he was going for? As, like as I, as he was doing it, waste of money, waste of time. Therapists are. They make you see stuff that you should have already seen. If you can't see it, then you're lying to yourself. So that's the thing you need to work on. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Man. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's that take a moment be, to Wait, that's address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so, let's party <laughs> like we're fucking porn stars, okay. okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! A little bit less of that, but. 
I get what he's saying. He, he wants to have a good time with his friends. No bus is coming out here. Especially the bus outside. I love the graphics. It looks so good. See, this looks like the big guy though. Like the, 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 the guy in the beginning. So we saw the guy with the machete in the beginning, but it looks like the guy with the... I was trying to give... We we're trying to take his hand. Sam, uh, diligent, uh, sorry, sorry, okay, uh, we can read. Sam, diligent, Hannah's best friend. Dang. Considerate, adventurous. Okay. Hello? Someone there? Okay. You hear that breathing? That's a serial killer breathing. That was a serial killer breathing. Oh, this is weird. I forgot I had to control her head looking around like this. I might have to take that off, honestly. I don't like having to do choices with motion. Because what if I need to do a quick choice? My sister to move the camera. So weird. Okay. Wow, what? The gate's busted. Damn. Time over, Chris. I don't know any of these characters. I only know Josh, Hannah, Beth, Sam. Was Chris the guy in the bed? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So we gotta climb over. Or, yeah, there's a glint of light. Let's see. Probably not. But... Oh, Jesus, never mind. If it moves like that, it's probably buried in snow, but it's alright. Uh, go quick, why not? The sooner we get through. Ah! The sooner we get through this, the better, right? Uh, jump. Jump. So, maybe it's too soon to say, but maybe the quick time events are faster, because if you notice when I was running in the forest, it wasn't as fast. And when I did a fast one, it was like, it was like, bang, you better get it. You hear, you hear that. You hear that? Like, that look. Like, maybe you're cold, but you're out here watching me. Aww. Don't move icons. No, don't, don't move icons on screen. Keep wireless controllers as huh? as possible. <laughs> Cutie. <sighs> R1 if you're unsure what to do next, current object is. Oh, okay. Head to the cable car station. Cool. Alright, so this is Sam. I'm Sam. Right. Alright. Right. <laughs> She's like, dude, shut up. Alright, so her traits are honest, charitable, brave. Not so much funny. Not really romantic. Eh, kind of curious, but not super. She doesn't really have a good relationship with anyone. Notice how Hannah's... I think Hannah and Emily's wasn't even up there. Or, not Aunt Emily, uh, Beth. I think Hannah and Beth weren't... They weren't up there before, right? They couldn't have been. Why, why are you making these faces? Anyways, 
So I think maybe they were meant to die to create the story. That's my theory. I know, it's disappointing. But we're gonna get through this. Don't open your mouth unless you're gonna say something. Don't look give me that look either. Anyways, alright, so we don't like we have an even relationship with anyone besides Jess. We don't really like Jess or Mike that much. Okay, understood. Okay, we already did that. <laughs> but we're on so we gotta play their characters though. We have to play honest, brave, charitable. Until dawn? Oof. You should. I wouldn't even watch me. Like, this game feels so good. Even, like, the motion. Like, motion controller stuff is awesome. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterflies, uh, butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in the uh, mountains believe that butterflies carried uh, dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of butter, the butterfly indicated a, ah, the nature of the pro prophecy. Black means death butterflies uh, prophesize dreamers death. Uh, red is danger, uh, warned of danger. Uh, brown is loss. Brown butterflies were uh, told the loss, yellow, help and guidance, white fortune. So is this, is this the, yeah, the totems, right? These are the totems. So what color is this? As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up totems and turning it will reveal, reveal the color of the butterfly. Okay. Okay, so we gotta turn it. So it's yellow. Yellow is help. Yellow is help something, right? The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on me, pretty much. Okay, I can look at my totem collection. Okay. So we saw this one. Yeah, we, we messed up. <laughs> Okay, so guidance. So there's a bird. How does that guide me? Tell me how that guides me. <laughs> Whatever. Let me look at it one more time. Let me s investigate surroundings. <laughs> Let's do that. It looked like it landed on a bench, picnic table thing. Yeah, picnic table and... Some guy in a striped jacket? Maybe plaid? It looks like plaid, but I can't tell, it's a blur. But a bird lands on a table and flies away. Whatever. I'm pissed off already. Oh, don't do that. All right. Keep moving. The past is beyond our, our control. Touching people's phones. Close back. Maybe I shouldn't look for our stuff. What's that butterfly thing? The butterfly effect which appears. Sam, hey, you it. made it. Okay, that's Chris. I didn't I don't remember ever seeing him. Uh Methodical. Oh sorry, has a crush on Ashley. I don't know who Ashley is. 
I don't know who Ashley is. <laughs> Protective and humorous. Got you. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Okay. Right around here. I'm going to blow your mind. Blow your mind. <laughs> I like Chris. Okay. Hold on. Okay. We got to update. Oh, our honesty went up. But other stats went down. Brave, fun, funny, charitable, romantic went down. Why did all those go down? Because honesty went up. Our relationship with Chris went up. Okay, so we can change these stats. What? That's crazy. Alright, 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 alright. So this changes stuff. Okay, we don't have... What's that? Sam respected Chris's privacy. Chris was happy with Sam. So butterfly effect. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's keep looking around. We got something right there. What's that? Wanted. Oh, Milgram Victor. Yes. Sex oh, male. You think we'll get a Height six two. Most Last it's known like address: Blackwood Pines. Oh come on! Last seen oh three sixteen ninety eight. Okay. Okay, click. It said uh, collect stuff to increase my chance of until dawn survival. I don't like the way you're staring at me. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Wait, I'm shooting. I'm gonna be shooting. Oh, what? Oh, no, I don't like... Okay, I might turn that off for this. How do I do it? Shoot. I don't like that. Eh, it's not that honestly. It moves well. Yo, imagine if Call of Duty was like this. That'd be insane. Wow, nice shooting tips. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Well, well you I shoot then. So, girl. You shoot. I'm gonna hit this one for this fall. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. It's pretty far. It's far than the other other one. Squirrel. I'm not shooting that squirrel. You're crazy if you think I'm shooting a squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Hey, sharpshooter, right coming. Or, uh, Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Uh, uh, Come on, Chris. Butterfly get car. Probably because we didn't shoot the squirrel. Then the squirrel has babies? I don't know. The squirrel's a mom to its, its children? I don't know. What's that going to do? Okay, Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Now that's a big one, because the game said in the beginning, a butterfly, you know, like flaps its wings and it, then a d hurricane can happen somewhere, anywhere. You kill a butterfly, you save a, a hurricane. So like, I guess with nature, don't, don't mess with nature. Like that's pretty much what the game's saying. All right, so we'll make sure nature is in balance. Let's see if we got anything over here. It is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came It's so right weird, you have to like look around like this. Past. And I still have to move. We already saw this, but let him see it. Yeah. Alright, let's keep it. Must be really hard on Josh. I bet, bro. Imagine losing both your sisters in one night. 
Losing both of your sisters in one night. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Josh wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that. What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. I mean, it wouldn't keep me out of sleeping in the station. It'd make me want to sleep in the station even more, but, like, find a way to get in and keep oh, it locked. Real gentleman. I, don't, I don't know how you'd get in. Okay. I guess there's Yeah. Can I go that way? Car was closer. Oh no. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Black, Blackwood How Pine Hotels and Sanatorium. That's what funny. a crazy place to set up house. Okay. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only fought a mountain. I was about to say, anyone that has a house on top of the mountain is crazy rich. So then... Some, something's supposed to... It, it has to be cold up here. There, like, there's no way. Like, I would... I freeze in Texas. Like, I'm not going to this place. Oh, is that the... Okay, maybe that was the sound of the thing coming. Finally. You coming? Yeah, well... I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay, that was the sound of the thing coming. I was like, what's happening? I thought it was like a dramatic effect for something that was supposed to happen. I, I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go! Here we go! Adventure begins! Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? Of course it was. You know, getting... Everyone together on the anniversary. Yeah, we gotta clear the air. You know, Josh though. seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Honestly, yeah, so he even though I know it's gonna turn I haven't seen him so excited about something. Like, like you have to clear the air. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Here. Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just don't let's do just that again. What happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. Okay. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay. So. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Wait. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in Wait, heaven. what? If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie it? Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. But... That still doesn't make any sense. If he got moved to the front and he got moved to the back, then they just switched roles and then nothing really happened. Maybe she, maybe he said she got moved to the front. Maybe I missed that. But... That sounded like he, he said he. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. So... Emily was the old girlfriend? Confident, trusting, irreverent. I almost said irrelevant. <laughs> Shots fired. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I don't see how you could just sit up here. Like, I'm running as fast as I can to the... Uh... Alright, wait. Before I go over there, am I missing anything? Over here. Reverence. What does that word mean? What the hell? Jess! 
Hey. Jessica, over here. Oh, God. That, like, sent really shivers. Like, I didn't rope? jump, but, We're like, shivers went down my body because I didn't, like, I didn't know how to. Pretty please. Yeah. I shouldn't have opened the door. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris! Here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica That's might our crazy. Jessica be They're capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, give that back. I'm with Mike now. Mike and M split. Were okay, together. so it was Emily. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Isn't he your uh, boyfriend? Sam? <laughs> Didn't we already discuss this? It's not like you're hiding you? him well. I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. It is a beautiful sight, though. Seriously, couldn't We've they have built the lodge like cards. right where the cable car ends? Emily, intelligent. Okay, so this is Mike's ex. Why does she look like emo now? Like she looked like she was wearing like more colorful clothes, right? Before. I don't seem like she's emo. Uh, Emily, Mike's ex, intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. So, yeah, I was about to say, she's super I don't think smart. I would have been, like, as pretty. <laughs> Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, amb ambitious, active. So, the jock. The no. jock. And where's the bellboy when you need one? The guy who's probably going to die first, honestly. Honestly, I am the bellboy, apparently. Okay, we got some new steps. Head up to the mountain lodge. Twins, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Still haven't found another totem. We're about to find another totem, I can feel it. I hope. Oh, wait, it says do here. Oh, we can switch the... Sam respected Chris's privacy. Chris was happy with... Chris was happy to see Sam. Okay, we flipped the page. Chris was happy to see Sam. Chris continued to trust Sam. How did that make sense? Okay, nothing over there, nothing over here, character info. So he's honest, charitable, romantic, curious. Okay. Not really funny or brave, which is weird. So we gotta play, okay, okay, here's the thing. We gotta play to their traits. We gotta play to their strengths. So like, even though he's not, even though he's not brave, like, He's not gonna run and saving saving someone, but he can go get help. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna run into a fire because he's not gonna do that. That's not who he is. Well, no, because traits change. So maybe we gotta develop the character. I don't know. I don't know. Anything over here? Anything over here? Anything over here? Nothing. I'm gonna just keep walking that way. Karen, you're my game. Getting back. chills. We're almost there. Oh, Honestly, I'm probably getting kind of creeped thing. out. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Cheesy jump scares. I want you to know that. Mike, Emily's ex. Okay, so this is the guy. This is the guy that is causing all the drama so far. Uh. So he's intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. 
We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Threaten Mike to back off. There's no need to threaten him. We're all friends here. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. Cool. So we're good? All good. Okay. You guys gonna I get what he's I get what he's saying now. Oh my god, totally. We're I get so what he's gonna make uh Uh no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. See you man. See ya. Right. See ya. Oh, crap. The thing about I don't know. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh what why? Are you doing? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, I'll go. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna stop her. You know, she wants to go talk to Mike because Sam's already up the mountain. We already know that. You know, do what you want, you know? Do what you want. All right. We're not brave, remember? Fine. We're not brave. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more you, you owe me one. one. You heard I'll me. Think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. She's going to go talk to Mike. We already know where she's going. But you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Mike, Mike's the smart one. She's smart too, but Mike's smart. They're both persuasive. They're both smart. But I think... I think Mark or Mike is not into Emily anymore because it's obvious. I, I think it's obvious that Mike broke up with Emily. <sighs> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Wait, doesn't Chris have a crush on Ashley? So we got to get them together. All right, she's academic, so she's smart. Or, book smart. Uh, inquisitive and forthright. Alright, alright. Whoa. Oh, I love this. <laughs> well, there's, there's Jess. There's Jess right there. Okay. Oh. Whoa, hello. Mike and Emily. Somebody's getting Wait. a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Wait. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Wait. Okay. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Tell me how that oh, messed up my eyes, bro. Well, I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, wow. Well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, that, like, for I real messed up my yeah. eyes. Uh. Oh. Oh. Let's look at her traits. Her traits are gonna tell me what to do, ready? Okay, honest, charitable, and curious. So she's honest and charitable. I think she's more, she looks more of a shy, like a shy person. She doesn't like look like, you know, everybody else. She looks like the shy person. So. She likes courage, she likes. Like, I want to say, take a look, but I don't want to stir anything up. Only because Emily's going to get what, what's coming to her. If she wants to do it, Mike, first Mike's going to leave her. So, like, she's going to be left high dry, and then Matt's going to be gone. But, 
I don't want to just be like, no, don't look, because... Take a look. Uh, Why not, right? Sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Don't worry. Emily's got... Seriously? Emily? She's got... What's what the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Look, Mike... Yeah. Mike wouldn't ruin his weekend with his girl for her, for Emily. You know what I'm saying? Mike is smart. Mike, Mike seems smart. Check phone, read book. I love how her head moves. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Uh, let's read book. Let's be smart. Oh, you did not just do that. I'm not even gonna lie. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. You tell me you didn't see him to retaliate. turning your head that fast? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Cover first. If Call of Duty oh, has taught me sneaky, anything. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Good time. Triangle. Zing. Crap. Zing. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Little chickadee. Oh, wait. Yeah, got it. Oh, got ah, him. I... Hey. Square. Oh, snap. Yo, she's got some good reflexes. The bird on the bench. The bird on the bench. Hello. Come on. Oh, the bird's not there yet. Got him. Hey, Mike. Boom. Shakalaka. Okay. Oh, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Someone's hurt. Someone's butt hurt. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Okay, bird's on the bench. He's hiding. Okay, so we wait for the bird to fly up. And then we hit him. Okay, okay. Whoa! Oh, we got him. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> How'd you do something? Oh. Gotcha. Done. Done city. Done city. So did I go down? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Grab snowball. Ah! Oh ho Play hard to okay. get. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Mmm. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. Maybe we should just kiss him. It's so <laughs> nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was. Making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. 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 So I wasn't think. Who's that? Oh, this game gives me anxiety. Hello again. Oh man. And how are we feeling? How about these? Felt easy. that we made some good progress. Did we? Did in we? the last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. 
You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Honestly, men worry me. Men worry me a lot more than women do. Only because... It, I don't know how to explain it. Men are crazy. Planes scare me, crowds scare me. I guess crowds... They're not really... Neither one of them scare me. I don't know. Neither one of them are scary. I guess a plane because you could crash. I fear heights. I fear drowning. I think I feel dr fear drowning more than heights. Because, like, heights, like, even if you fall off a building, yeah, you're scared. But once you hit the ground, like, like the picture you see here, once you hit the ground, it's over. You're, you don't, you know, I, I don't even think you'll feel it, especially from that high up. But drowning, that's literally suffocation. Like, you're suffocating to death. Like, that's a fear of mine. I don't like the f like. I don't fear heights, but drowning, drowning's the. Mm. Snakes or rats? Mm. Honestly, snakes more only because, only if they're poisonous, I guess. Because snakes can strike fast. And then you're paralyzed. Rats, I mean, they can carry a plague, but you know, I guess snakes, cause they're more dangerous. Rats, I mean, rats aren't as dangerous as they were. Snakes are still dangerous. It's the most, it's the more logical thing. Gun scary, knife scary, neither one are more scary. People that carry the gun and knife is scary. I guess a gun, only because if you, I mean, even if you were to accidentally cut yourself with a knife, even if you weren't, like, if you were holding a knife and you just accidentally, ah, you know, and you're, like, flipping it around, like, the worst that's going to happen is you're just going to cut yourself, you know, just a small little cut. Even if you end up, like, dropping it on yourself, like, throwing it up in the air and dropping it on yourself, you know, the worst you're going to get is a scar. Guns, on the other hand, you could die, you know? Say you drop a gun by accident. Literally just drop a gun. It could go off anywhere. It could reflect off of anything and kill you. Or kill someone in the area. You know? So guns, I guess. Is that a question? I'm more scared of a rat, a rat than a roach. Are you kidding me? That wasn't even a question. Yeah. Clowns aren't really scary. People make clowns scary, but they're not scary. It's the person behind it's the person behind what's behind the mask, you know? So neither one of them is scary. I guess in this situation, I would find the scarecrow more scary because you don't even know if there's a real person under that. You know, you take the mask off, it could be just plush. You you fill me with the room of room of clowns, I could pick the person out from clowns. But you fill me a room with scarecrows, I don't know which scarecrow's real. So we'll go Scarecrow. That clown's creepy, but like... Seem creepier. Clowns, anyways. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. I guess gore. Crows aren't scary. Oh. Oh, did you try I to scare me? You. So sorry. No, you didn't. Doing back Actually, well. I blinked. Don't be nervous. <laughs> I blinked, so I missed it. Sorry. Try to speed up a bit. 
the more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Got you. Okay. Understood. Spiders or snakes? Eek. Yeah, I think spiders. Because a spider could be crawling on you, you don't even know it, you know? Like, you know us. you kind of know a snake's there, even though they're, uh, you know, uh, still silent. Like, but you could always kill a spider. Yeah, yeah, I'll still, still say snakes, actually. I don't treat any rules. Like, you come home, find a needle, you're like, oh, it's a needle. You come home, find, like, blood and a heart on the ground. You're gonna be like, whoa. Scarecrows or zombies? Neither one. Because I'm not scared of a zombie. A zombie is just a brainless meathead. You can outrun a zombie. You can kill a zombie. Like, you can kill a scarecrow, but whatever. I guess. I don't know. I fear dogs, not really. I like dogs. I like dogs. Storm. I love storms. I love storms. The bigger, the better. I can, I can fall asleep. This is very interesting. Storm. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> I don't like your face. Snakes, scarecrows, and awful. <laughs> awful. The sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> I guess. Uh, if you're trying to scare me, yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Well, so, question, 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 question. Wait, wait, wait. I know my time's up. Okay, cool. My question is, what was the point of this therapy session? Because every therapy session, you should be making ground. What was the ground made of this therapy session? Figuring out the fears that I already know I have, even though the fears didn't make sense because I don't fear those things. Don't you guys think you forced this is me to fear those oh, things. Come on, she deserves it. Hannah, Brain what's drops. going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Okay, wait, wait. We're stopping here. We're stopping here. We're stopping here. Cause this is part one. This is part one. I, I kind of did two parts, I think. Cause I think every every time the analyst talks to you, there's a recap. So I think that's, I did two parts. We'll probably do two parts every time because it was only an hour. But we'll stop right here and then we'll continue tomorrow or the next day. Either way, I'm streaming tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me here. Oh, actually, forgot, my bad. I have this thing now. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you do like it, please follow me. Follow, uh, Subscribe to my channel. Uh, YouTube, if you did miss the last two episodes of The Wolf Among Us, if you did want to watch that. Pretty good game. Very good. Uh, another good butterfly effect game. Uh, I'm enjoying it. You, got, you, you, might, you guys might like it. But who knows? Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps a lot to get to my dream of 1 million subs, followers, whatever you want to call it. But thank you guys for watching. Skies out. I'ma let you go
I guess I had my bad days, but it doesn't mean I lost my styling. Where were you when my heart was on the ground? I thought time would prove that you would stick around. I guess time starts to a king without his crown. Now I'm breaking, you're faking, girl. You never made a sound. I'm not afraid of the dark.